Welcome back. Here's Jimmy. Here he is at his hangout in the industrial park. And we're gonna do revenge on Mr. Burton. And you know, it's about time we get revenge on that guy. He's a scumbag. up the quest right here. What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, it looks like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Oh, come on. I don't want to fight you. My name's Jimmy. Zoe. I was at Bullworth once. I got kicked out. Why? Let's just say Mr. Burton is a dirty creep. Seriously? I would love to teach that guy a lesson. He bullies everyone. You know, he goes jogging every day and regularly uses the porta potties in the park. Yuck. Yeah, so if we could catch him in one on top of a hill, then Mr. Burton could have a really interesting time in it. Yeah, but they're all chained together. We'll need to get some bolt cutters. Go get some from the Spaz Industries building and meet me at the park. Make sure no one sees you. Oh, made a friend pretty quick. <laughs> it didn't take long. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, where am I going? Uh, oh, okay. Um, hmm. I'm trying to figure out what would be the best route for me to go. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna try to attack me, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> you know something, it might be worthwhile for me to go back to school just to pick up my go-kart. For transportation. girl like you is doing at Bullworth? Hey, Jimmy. You smell um, real good. Alright. Yeah, I'll kiss Andy. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're so bad. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. I'm on a mission, okay? No time to be screwing around. I got some speed. Shut up. I already graduated. Alright. So, does anybody want to put any money down on whether or not Zoe's going to end up being Jimmy's girlfriend? <laughs> Spoilers, she does. Yeah, she's the towny girlfriend. Did you get them? Yeah, I got them. Now what? Burton always goes to the can when he goes running. We've got to make sure he uses this one and send him on a trip. I'll take care of this. You make sure he doesn't use one of the other ones. This sounds like it's gonna be good. Okay. Uh, wait. What, uh, wait, uh, uh, 
hell is it? Okay. I was gonna say. Go into the park. Don't worry about it. good. <laughs> I feel really good. Okay. I could go do Preppy's Vandalized, but I actually want to wait a little bit, I think, if I remember correctly, because there's another mission that becomes available in the evening that I want to do before that, <clears throat> before I do Preppy's Vandalized. If I remember correctly. Because I believe there's a major key event that happens um, before Preppy's, or after Preppy's vandalized. And I want to get this side quest done. Before that. So. If I can advance time a little bit, possibly. I could just run around and run over people. That'd be fun. Hey. <laughs> I love running over people. It's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot catch me. <laughs> yes. Seems to be the problem, boys. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> yeah, pretty much when you're on this thing, nobody can catch you. It's awesome. Just don't hop off and you're fine. <laughs> okay. Is <laughs> enough screwing around? Uh, um, I think I've got it. Yeah. See, I could fail a class to s try to advance uh, time. I Hey you. I hope I'm doing this right. Why? You're such a jerk. 
Why? How's it going? Really? A tattoo? Isn't that a little too 90s? Next you'll be growing a goatee. <laughs> what? Why? I wish I could go to school seven days a week. Why? Why are you being why are you being mean to me? I, I don't get it. You wouldn't be so bad if you just cleaned up a bit. You know, I don't get it. I'm sad. Why is she making fun of me? I thought it was just to have like a class that I could use to advance time. Didn't I? No classes? Really? That's weird. Oh well. Whatever. Oh no! <laughs> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I guess I'm in trouble. <laughs> I guess my reign of terror has finally come to an end. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. <clears throat> It's like later at night. Oh, hi. It becomes available. The mission that I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, Russell is still available for hire. You can still hire him because he's still on your side. He does, he does not turn against you. Everyone else... Well, bullies don't turn against you, but everyone else turns against you. But Russell does not. He remains loyal. Okay. Let's save my game. Just in case. You never know. Head back to the uh, industrial park because I believe that's where the uh, mission becomes available. Don't mind me, guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. I see a. Christy, what are you doing here? What do you need? I need to go back to the motel, but I don't want to go alone. Would you please walk me there? Sounds good. Everyone is betting on the jocks this year. Uh, she wants to go to the motel, huh? Ah, I see how it is. <laughs> this might be a little tricky, though, because I think that... Yep. 
I was gonna say, I think the greasers are gonna try to fight me. All right, Christy, let's go to the motel, baby. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I swear she got a nose job, and she's like only 12. It's, it's totally not cool. Okay, Christy, I don't know who you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, I still don't know what you're talking about. You're kind of wasting my time. Can we hurry this up, please? Did you hear there's fresh blood on the floor of the hole? Uh, really? Because I'm pretty sure that that was like, from like last year. I'm so bored. I wish something would happen. Could you not run over us, please? Smash it up is what I need to go do, but she's... Okay, Christy, you're really taking my time now. I keep my mouth shut when I have nothing to say. School elections are always rigged with money changing hands. Oh my god, did you see Mandy making herself sick in the toilets again? Are you suggesting... It's a lie, unless it's a white lie. Okay. Are you suggesting that Mandy is bulimic? Never mind. You know what? I don't care. Let's just. Can we hurry this along? What are you doing? Oh my god. Did you see Mandy making herself sick and open one? <sighs> just. Please. You're really getting on my nerves. It was nice of you. I know. Okay, let's just. Okay, where did I leave my... <sighs> Crap. Oh, God! Yeah, run him over. Run over the stupid dog. Kill him. You know what, I almost think that I'm not going to have enough time now because of stupid Mandy. Or not Mandy, but Christy. <sighs> Wait a minute, what the hell is this? Oh yeah, this is an extra one I forgot about. You're going! <laughs> Very funny. I'm sorry. Did I hurt you? I'm sorry. Ugh. Ah. -ha. Now, we're even. Ah, -ha, my nose. How you doing, Clint? Me? Just fine. Ugh. Ah, top of the world. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. You seem really balanced. That's what my shrink said. Then I headbutted him like this. Ah. Whoa, whoa, okay, man. All right, buddy. <laughs> you think I'm a moron, don't you? You think I'm a joke, huh? No, man, relax. You want me to headbutt you? You want to fight me? Because I'd really like that. Come on, man. We don't need to fight. We're friends. You know that. Really? Then get me a bike. I want a bike, or I want a fight. All right, I'll get you a bike. Wait here. A bike? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that this was one that was added in the uh, scholarship edition. And the thing is, is I'm not entirely sure why it was added. Because it's... It doesn't add anything to the story. It's just... It seems like needless... Fluff. Walking's good for you. <clears throat> so anyway... I attacked an adult, but whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Just... 
Okay. Put it in the garage and I'll give you the money. Okay, I'm in trouble. Get to get away from this retarded monkey of a cop. And this stupid dog. Yeah, good luck catching me now. Yeah, it ain't happening, guys. Guys, knock it off. Seriously? Just knock. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! God! You're retarded. Get out of my face. Yeah, but I gotta get away from the cops first. In the garage, kid. Put you in the garage, kid. It's gotten so late now that I really don't think it'd be a good idea for me to do, uh, smash it up this late. Really want to do it, like, right at 7. So, yep. So then go do it. Anyway, we're going to do it tomorrow night. <sighs> I got a lot of crap. <laughs> I, just, I was looking around my room, I was like, wow. Got a lot of trophies. Trophies. I do have a question. How would Jimmy know the name of a townie that he doesn't even go to school with? He's like, hey, Clint, and it's like, uh, how would he know him? Uh, whatever. Yes, Russell, you're very impressive. Okay, uh, I'm not even sure what to do right now, to be honest with you. Uh, you know what I might do? I might just, like, pause the recording and get back to you guys when it's time, uh, for the next mission. Just so I'm not wasting your guys' time. So, see you then. Okay, I'm back with you guys, and it's just a few minutes before smash it up begins and I changed Jimmy's hair and Jimmy's clothes let's get to it this is the perfect outfit for him uh, I forget exactly where it starts it's somewhere around here I know that yeah
Oh yeah, that's right outside Zoe's house. Duh. Okay. Hey, what you looking at? Hey, Zoe. You wanna have some fun, tough guy? What kind of fun? It's not that kind. I only date older men or junkies. They're so romantic. Come on, what's wrong with me? <laughs> well, everybody hates you. You're a little twerp. You dress terribly, but apart from that, nothing. Oh, okay, good. Why don't we play a little game? Come on. By older men, I hope you don't mean Mr. Burton. Hey. <laughs> We're going to the Spencer Shipping Warehouse. Okay, I'm gonna run her over. <laughs> okay. And besides, what's wrong with the way I dress? I dress exactly like her. Here we are. A warehouse full of expensive looking junk. It makes it much more satisfying that all this is Spencer shipping. Wait, isn't Tad's last name Spencer? Yup. And now we're gonna play a little game. Whoever smashes up the most stuff wins. Okay. So we gotta beat her in smashing up the most expensive crap. Yep. Okay. Plenty of crap upstairs to break to. Like this stuff. In fact, it's a good idea to come up here before she hits this place. Because if she hits it before you, chances are she'll end up beating it. Oops. Wrong weapon. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't trying to target her. I was it was kind of a mistake. Okay. I can't let her beat me. So we need to get back to work. This would probably go a lot better if I'd stop switching weapons constantly. Got this one in the bag, though. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one's pretty much over. <laughs> you cannot. Oh, she's stuck. <sighs> you 
cannot match the power of Jimmy. I'm too good. Poor Zoe. Oh yeah, by the way, you can attack Zoe here. You can attack her and she'll fight you. But... <clears throat> yeah. I don't see the point in fighting her. I mean... I'm trying to be a gentleman, right? Hey! Okay. Enough! You win! Damn right. You sure know how to have a good time, Zoe. This is the best date ever! <laughs> That's how it's done. Okay, and I know it didn't say so, but that counted as a win win the girlfriend type uh, mission, so yes, technically, Zoe is our girlfriend now. So, that's done. Hooray! But, we have other pressing matters to attend to. Now, Zoe, her importance in the story is not yet done. Um, she has a substantial role to play still in the story. And, uh, <clears throat> in fact, she's pretty much the, kind of the true love sort of interest for Jimmy. So, you're going to see more of her. I think that the problem with Zoe is the fact that she just comes so late in the game. I wish that they had introduced her character maybe earlier on and maybe built her up a little bit more. Because the fact is, of all the girls, I probably like her the most. I think that she's pretty much the perfect fit for Jimmy. And I've said that before in a previous post. Um, she is. I mean, she's absolutely the perfect fit for Jimmy. She's just introduced so late in the game that it's like, yeah. Um, I'm not going to end the video yet, because I am going to go ahead and do one more. You know, I got to looking at this uh, poster here. That looks like Zoe. In fact, I think that is Zoe, behind that guitar. <laughs> oh yeah, and her picture is up on our wall now. So let me zoom in. Thanks for the good times, Zoe. Okay, so yeah, she's our girlfriend. Uh, we can't really find her on the overworld map yet. I say yet. We will be able to eventually. But we gotta do a few more things first. Now, the only thing for us to do right now... I mean, we could screw around, but we really need to go do Preppy's Vandalized. It's time to move forward with the story. In fact, I'm pretty much going to be beelining toward the end of the game at this point because there's really not much else to do. Um, I've already shown you the side stuff. You've already seen pretty much what there is to see in the game. So, yep. It's time to, time to do the final push. We are in the uh, home stretch as it is, as it were. So, let's do it. Now, you notice that we've e we've had sort of a click quest for each of the clicks. You know, we started with the nerds, then the jocks, then the greasers to get Johnny out of the um, out of the asylum. Now we're doing one for the preps. So let's see what they need. I don't really care. Just shut up. Oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent with us. I tried that when father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it. They've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. 
Yes. It's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us. Apart from them. Oh, yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, <laughs> la-dee-da. Now he tells us. You are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men. Let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on. Wait here. I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I hate these people. You know, I... <sighs> okay. Okay, nerds are pathetic. Uh, the jocks are just dumb. Uh, greasers are sycophants. Except for Johnny. Johnny's just... Johnny's like... He's a useful idiot to Lola, who's manipulative. She's a manipulative witch. Um, and then... The preppies are just... Pure scum. That's my take on things. <laughs> steal the preppies trophies no way man after the town he's been saying all that stuff about lola and made johnny crazy we don't care about those stuck-up jerks the townies really yeah and johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore but since you got him out i'll let you walk away from this meeting well since i already beat you i guess i believe you oh crap <laughs> oh crap <sighs> well, I wish something exciting would happen. All right, just on, kiss baby. me. You know you want to. I think you we're alone now. Just you and me. You should be in school. <laughs> well, you know what? I won those trophies. You speared my lipstick, you beast. <laughs> you know what? I hate you, Lola, but I needed I needed the uh health boost because this game just decided to randomly screw me. So. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna flip out. I'm not gonna, whatever. And just, whatever. I can get back there quickly. It's not that big of a deal. Notice that each time I pick up the go kart, the uh, frame to it changes color. Like it was red before, now it's blue, and before it was yellow. So, yep, it's just a little little thing. All right, all right, let's try this again. And no, I'm not gonna make you guys watch this again. Oh, I know. Oh, oh here, here he is, is. Mr. Yes, I'm wonderful, blah, blah, blah. Shut up. Once I made my Okay. Now <laughs> we're doing it without, uh. Oh, whoops. I'm coming for you! 
next time you'll... Okay. All right, Vance. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Mama dresses you funny. You know, you're actually right about that. My mama does dress me funny. Because the last time she dressed me, she got me a cheerful reindeer sweater. And that thing was really goofy looking. So, yeah, I suppose you're right. She does dress me funny. Thankfully, my mama hasn't dressed me in quite some time, so... Curious, I'm back here. Find the townies putting rats in the crates and take a picture. Yeah, this is a stealth mission. Oh, by the way, this is really good music. This is probably my favorite track from the Bully soundtrack. Get in there, you little sucker! Ow! It bit me! <laughs> Better hope you don't get rabies. I can just imagine the look on their face when they get another crate of rats. <laughs> All the little nerds running around screaming like girls. <laughs> Hurry up! Can't be late for the party. This track really gives you the feeling that things are really just escalating out of control, which they really are. Things are really getting out of hand at this point. This is really kind of extended beyond just the school. Townies with the stolen trophies. the end of the dock was. Uh, oh well. Probably the quickest way is just for me to take this back to school and then pick up another go-kart here.
Well, Pauper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fun babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> My work here is done. Yeah. Things continue to not go well for Jimmy. Oh, we lost whatever towny respect we had, but not like that was going all that well in the first place. Obviously, they're under the influence of Gary. Um, I'm trying to think of what I need to do at this point. I think it's just go to bed, but that's just a question of... Yeah. Waiting for time to pass. Save my game. And let me try to go into the school, but I don't think that's what I need to do. I think it's just that I need to go to bed. And something will happen tomorrow. I don't need to walk anywhere. I have a go kart. To do one, boys. Can't you kind of believe it? Just yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Alrighty. You know what? Let me just double check something, because, you know. You know, there was something that said that the, my Grottos and Gremlins card collection it said that I was missing two of them, but I only see one on the map. So there's something that I'm apparently not getting. Hmm. And there's the one on the map that I can't get right now. I have to wait for an area to get opened up, and that's like on the final, the penultimate mission. <laughs> Listen, man, you got it my way. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to skip ahead in time a little bit, and I will see you guys on the other side. Okay, guys. It's time to hit the hay. And 
let's see what happens in the morning. see the principal. For your information, while the fire department is wasting their time responding to this false alarm, I'll spur it down from town. Okay, lost cat, black pick. cat, and the name of Malovich is James Phillips in the art room. Okay, I was just looking over this, seeing if I missed any. Well, the principal wants to see me. That doesn't sound good. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man. Blind! And you are leaving. I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform uh, or attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. <laughs> yep. We've been expelled. <sighs> but, do you think Jimmy is going to uh, take that lying down? Ooh, no. I don't think so. Anyway, join me next time, and we will end this once and for all. Alright, guys. See you next time. Peace. Yeah.